I'm back again. And again, and again, and again, and again, 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 again. Hey, I hope you guys miss me. Uh, <laughs> um, I know I haven't, I didn't post a video last week. I apologize for that. Um, but oh, yeah. I have, I'm not even sure if it's an injury or what it is, but I've got a joint pain, so I'm just securing my um, wrist so that I don't, um, oh, excuse me, so that I don't have any issues while working. Um, today we are making a beanie. Um, it's made out of fleece. For your beanie, you need to measure. For the width, which is um, 14 centimeters times um, 4, that would be the circumference of um, the beanie. And then with the height of it, um, then you will do 23 centimeters so that you can also be able to fold it. Right? And then you do the 14 centimeters again um, on the top, and then you cut that bit off. Oh, yes, I forgot to say that um, your paper or your cutting paper uh or pattern paper is supposed to be folded so um just make sure that when you open it it's like this okay and then um what you do is just um measure five centimeters um from each corner from the top corner i mean from the top corner five centimeters and also at the bottom five centimeters and you do the same on the other corner you do um, five centimeters and also another five centimeters this is for you to create that curve so you can just wing it uh, and then you can just create the curve for your centimeter mark on each side from the center and then you make a dot so there you will cut it off I want you to cut it off um, you cut the V off I'll show you just now how it's supposed to look like 
so this is what you make you make this V and then just cut that piece out um, just make sure you remove um, your pin and first cut the paper with the paper scissors so cut your passion paper first before you cut your fabric because you are not supposed to cut paper with your fabric scissors don't ruin your scissors by cutting um, paper with your fabric scissors okay and then just cut that off and we are good so and this is how it's supposed to look this is basically what you're supposed to do step is to go sew these together so go sew the dot closed on all on, on all the sides um, so when you are done sewing this just put the right sides together so these are the right sides this is the wrong side where the sewing is so the right sides together and then sew those um, together just leave maybe like four centimeters um, that you haven't sewn so you can basically mark it so you don't forget um, you can just mark it anywhere um, it's basically uh, you can leave enough space for you to just turn the the hat the right way around so uh, let me show you this way. So these are the pins, and then I'm gonna sew everything except for this part. So this is gonna be open. The sun here is glaring. It's just following me, but anyway. basically how it looks when it's done I shaped it a little bit to make it a bit more oval because it was looking kind of squarish so you can basically um, do it as the way you want it to so there is where it was open stitch that part and then that's going to be the inside so now you put that side, the side that's top stitch on the inside. So you just fold it in and then there is your hat. There's your hat and you're basically ready. We're ready. We're ready to wear the thing. Dan, is it not cute? Is it not cute? Let's wear it. Let's wear it. There we go. We are winter ready. Our hat is done. Look at that. It's nice. It fits um, under all the plaits and the wig and everything. So um, if you want to make a scarf to match, you can do it and look all funky this winter while on lockdown. Um, but other than that, that's about it. Thank you for watching. And yeah, we'll see you next time on BDIY with Z.